Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd. I hope you're doing well. And let's talk about Scorpion, Drake's new album. Let's talk about Drake. Let's talk about streaming. Now, if you're a Spotify user, especially a paid Spotify user, uh, this past week when Drake's album Scorpion got released, uh, which reports have said went platinum day of release, uh, you might have been kind of annoyed by the look of the front page, uh, which looked a little something uh, like this over here, as reported by The Sun. I saw images of this as well. I shared one on Twitter. Oh, we basically have Drake plastered at the front and throughout every single relevant playlist on the new releases page. We have Get Turnt, we have a Drake playlist, Rap Caviar, Northern Bars, Top Hits Canada, Summer Party, Hip Hop Central, Hot Rhythmic, uh, another Top Hits, so we have R&B, Low Key, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, Spotify essentially just kind of shoving this new Drake record down the throats of its users. Now, what's hilarious is in in reaction to the spam, which essentially it is spam, it's quite literally spam, uh, in, in response to this spam, users were kind of not that happy. And uh, apparently Spotify uh, gave some paid users refunds who were annoyed over the Drake promo. Um, uh, you know, if 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 you're if you're a paid Spotify user and you haven't sort of taken advantage of this and you still can, I, I highly recommend that you probably should. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, again, I'll, I'll go back to the 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 point that this this is essentially spam. This is essentially spam. Like, I get that Drake is popular. I get that people are going to want to hear the new Drake album. But if people really want to hear it. It's not that hard to seek out. It's not that hard to find. People know how to use a search engine. People know how streaming services work nowadays. Um, I've done numerous talks bringing up the potential for streaming services to essentially become the new radio, for streaming services to essentially become the new gatekeepers in the entertainment industry. Once the internet came in and kind of broke up the whole, um, I guess, uh, uh, monopoly that radio and television had over exposure to new music to the millennial audience. The old school hierarchy was broken down. It was busted up. It was, for the most part, gone. And now it seems almost as if these streaming services, very deeply industry-connected streaming services, are now beginning to bring that hierarchy back. Because when an artist like Drake puts out a new record, they're right there, front and center, ready to shove it, down your throat, no question. Uh, this was also reported on in USA Today, who wrote a pretty lengthy article saying Drake's Spotify takeover shows how broken the music industry is. I agree with a lot of the sentiments of this article. Uh, there was sort of a weird, uh, I guess, mention over here in the very last paragraph saying, uh, that's good news for Spotify, great news for Drake, and depressing news for music fans who are left with this conclusion, that Drake engineered his mediocre album uh, around breaking streaming records. Drake paid Spotify exclusively to feature his face on its homepage. Spotify will pay Drake huge royalties, and everyone else will be worse for it. I don't know if there's any other formal reporting or evidence uh, pointing toward Drake paying Spotify exclusively to feature his face on its homepage. I haven't seen any other publication kind of talking about this uh, or bringing that up. But uh, if, if that is in fact the case, I don't see how this wouldn't be kind of the new wave of payola. Back in the day, uh, radio stations and labels would get dinged for accepting money for playing certain songs. At the end of the day, uh, the radio stations had to willingly play those songs because I guess they thought they were good songs to play. Uh, and, and they would call that payola. And but even though it was technically outlawed, uh, radio ended up incredibly homogenized anyway, as many of the radio stations across the country were owned by the same couple of companies and corporations. So they all kind of towed that uh, same corporate line, which was very major label friendly and so on and so forth. Um, of course, you know, there are radio stations out there that, that, that break that mold, but still uh, a majority of rock and pop and hip hop stations were very much uh, uh, sucked into uh, that, uh, that, that traditional media hierarchy, uh, which now it seems like Spotify is, is working to prop up, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just kind of disheartening. It calls into question 
uh, the legitimacy and um, uh, just how much we can trust these streaming services going forward, whether or not they're going to actually be um, a tool for music discovery going forward, or will they merely be a tool for just kind of pushing artists that major labels want you to hear and see? I mean, of course, uh, they are that uh, right now, currently. Uh, but at, at this very moment, it's bearable. You know, the amount of diversity of, of music you can find on streaming or be exposed to through some of these playlists is pretty good. Uh, but if we continue to see uh, that Spotify and artists like Drake are kind of colluding here to turn the entertainment industry into merely an advertising engine, then it's it's really going to mean um, music listeners are going to get screwed at the end of the day. The final point that I'll make here is that I don't even think Drake needs to pay Spotify in order for them to feature his album as annoyingly as they did during the Scorpion rollout. Because here's the thing, not only does Drake make money off of every stream that he makes on his album, but also so does Spotify. Spotify knows how popular Drake is. They know how much of a following online that he has. They know how much people are anticipating to listen to this new album. And Spotify makes its money, makes its bank primarily from putting super relevant, super popular, super viral, super in-demand artists right in the front of users' faces so that they get that quick play, that quick reaction, that quick click. They're not trying to guide the listener through some kind of like educated, carefully curated musical experience. They're trying to throw the stuff right in front of your face. It's going to get you to click the quickest. And on top of that, keep you locked into an algorithm that endlessly recommends you other artists based on what other people are listening to uh, that, that they just might like recommend as, as being similar, even though it's probably not really that similar. It's just people listening to other stuff that they like. And the algorithm is assuming that because people are listening to Drake, if maybe half or three fourths of them are also listening to another artists, they must either be the same or other fans who aren't listening to that artist might enjoy them too, which is not true at all and ridiculous because, I mean, I've had instances where Cal Chichesta songs have been recommended alongside Childish Gambino's This Is America. I've seen instances where as a result of like my reviews, uh, Death Grip songs or Death Grips albums have Corey Feldman songs recommended next to them because of my negative Corey Feldman review. But um, yeah, Streaming, the algorithms, they're trash. Uh, I recommend that all of you out there try to seek out some human curation for the music that you listen to. You cannot just trust these companies to recommend you shit because uh, they think it's good. In fact, they're not recommending it to you because they think it's good. They're recommending it to you because a major label is handing it to them and because of the listening habits of other listeners on the platform. And that is it. Um, you're the best, you're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Drake, Scorpion, buh.